which brings me to a very important question, uh, uh, Professor David Nutt. Uh, you talk about men- mental health, health uh, me- mental illness being the biggest epidemic, mm. and uh, and you also studied the brain like nobody else. Uh, have you studied people without depression and people with depression? And uh, what does it take for people uh, to stay away from anxiety, sleep, mental disorders? Uh, so, uh, what does your study of the brain tell us? Because I think you also wrote a book uh, around the brain and. It was mm. very interesting as a read for me. So, you. Uh, have you seen the difference? And therefore, if I'm an audience, I'm a, a commoner listening to this mm. podcast. Uh, I know mental health is a big problem because I work, uh, you know, long hours. I'm working in stressful jobs. So, mm. when you actually analyze this brain, how do you see it? One without uh, mental health and uh, one with uh, mental health. So, what needs to be done? Well, we can definitely see. When we look into the brains and do measures of various measures, we can see that people with mental illnesses, you know, there are signatures in the brain which are different from people who don't have them. Mm-hmm. Why do they get them? They get them through some of them, some is genetic. A lot of it's due to upbringing, stress, poverty. Then a lot of it is due to subsequent stress, trauma. I mean, you know, a lot of people get trauma, either get assaulted. To have accidents happen to them, so trauma. So chronic stress is the, one of the major features in, or the major predisposing features. Yes, we can see those changes occur in the brain. So what we need to be doing is we need to be training children to be resilient, how to cope with stress, how to deal with those setbacks and not to become preoccupied with failure, etc. And, and we also need to, uh, well, that's... I, Make sure that people, when they get ill, they get help quickly because the longer you go on being ill, the harder it is usually to to rectify that. 